Good evening everyone and welcome back to the channel again. Uh, just a very brief upload tonight. I just really feel moved to bring a word from God. And when I say I'm bringing a word from God, I'm not being hyper spiritual. I'm literally bringing a word from God. Because you see, when you open the Bible, when you open the Bible and you read it under the anointing and the influence of the Holy Spirit, it's a word from God and the Bible says that when God's word goes out, it does not return unto him void. Okay, when God's word goes out, it does not return unto him void. There are people who are banging on saying they have words from the Lord, but it's not the word of the Lord. Okay, there's a difference. There's a difference between someone saying they have a word from the Lord and they have the word of the Lord. Okay? So I want to believe tonight that because this is coming straight from the source, it's going to minister to someone tonight. It's going to be like an arrow shot from a bow that will pierce and penetrate even deep into your heart tonight. There's at least one person who will be benefiting from this tonight. Because it's not my word and it's not a word I said God gave to me. It is God's word itself. And Hebrews says that the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. Piercing even to the divining asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and the marrow. And as a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. That's the word of God I'm talking about tonight. And sadly, the word of God is in short supply these days. It seems to be from what I can see, the word of God is in short supply. So let me give you a verse or two tonight that I believe will move you on. I want to read one verse, just one verse from Psalm 20. And I want to read verse nine. Psalm 20 verse nine. And if you have nothing else to do or you find yourself whiling away your time watching nonsense on the television like I do or listening to garbage on your headphones like I can do, put things down, switch things off, lift up your Bible and go old school. Memorize a verse from the Bible. This is a good verse to memorize. Why? Because it has such power within it and it applies to so many different situations. Psalm 20 and verse 9, David writes, Save, Lord. Save, Lord. Let the King hear us when we call. Save, Lord. Let the King hear us when we call. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter how you've came upon this video tonight. The word of God tells us in Romans chapter 10 and verse 13 that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So no matter who you are, where you are, what you've done or what you're doing, the Bible says you're a whosoever and whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord will be saved. The Lord's ear will not be closed to a cry for mercy, whether it be from an unbeliever or whether it be from a believer. The Lord's ear will not be closed to a cry for mercy, especially a cry for salvation. So first of all, if you're not saved tonight, You've came across this channel and you don't know where you're at. You don't know where you're going. You don't know what's happening in your life. I'm telling you now, it's a divine appointment. The Holy Spirit has brought you here tonight to hear this verse, Romans 10 and 13, that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And Psalm 20 and verse 9, Save, Lord, let the King hear us when we call. When you cry out to God for mercy, you're not just crying out to someone some random person or someone high ranking in spiritual authority. You're going straight to the top because Jesus Christ is not just a king, but he is the king of kings and he is the Lord of lords. 
You're going as high up as you can go when it comes to mercy and grace. You're going straight to the top, not just to a governor, not just to a president, not just to a king, but to the king of kings. I want to go to Revelation chapter 19. And I just want to read some verses about the king of kings tonight. I want to give Jesus glory tonight. I want to talk about him tonight. Not what he's going to do. Not what he has done, but what he is. What he is. The king of kings and the Lord of lords. Revelation chapter 19. And from verse 11 onwards, John is writing and he says, I saw heaven open. And behold, a white horse. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. Two other names for Jesus Christ, faithful and true. And in righteousness, he judges and makes war. His eyes were like a flame of fire and on his head were many crowns. And he had a name written that no man knew, but he himself. There are secrets with the Lord. There are secrets with the Lord and there are men who are trying to figure them out and they can't and they won't until he is revealed. He had a name written that no man knew but he himself. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood and his name is called the Word of God. And the armies in heaven followed him on white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. Their robes were white. His was covered in blood. His own blood shed for many for remission of sins. The Lamb of God that was slain from before the foundation of the world. That's who you call to tonight. That's where your prayers and your cries go. And out of his mouth goes a sharp sword that he should strike the nations and he shall rule them with a rod of iron and he treads the winepress of the fierceness and the wrath of Almighty God and he has a name on his clothes and on his thigh a name written King of Kings and Lord of Lords. You have access to the King of Kings tonight. What are you doing tonight? Who are you talking to tonight? What are you talking about tonight? What are you spending your time doing tonight? I say to you, stop listening to me. Stop listening to YouTube. Stop listening to the television, to the news, to the newspapers, to your friends, to your relatives. Put everything to the side and call on the name of the Lord. And you will be saved. Save, Lord. Let the King hear us when we call. In Jesus' name, amen.